What's up guys, it's Scott from aceofaxrc.com. Hey, I just wanna go over quickly uh, how I run my Charisma Scale Adventure uh, Coyote, the SCA1E, and also the stock configuration and uh, how it was in the stock configuration and why I changed it. So I was going to get into it real quick. Uh, so here we go. All right, so first and foremost, there's been lots of questions about how good the stock configuration is. When we went to Austria to get it certified for the G6, the only things we'd done to it was uh, there was weight in the front wheels and we used the LiPo because we could and we had to do long runs, obviously. So other than that, everything was bog stock. So there's plenty of steering. Everybody's uh, jumping on the steering bandwagon that they need a whole bunch of, um, what do you call it, lock which that's cool if you know it's your rig do what you got to do but out of the box I really didn't find that much problem with the lock that it already had you turn the ATV all the way up and I had plenty of lock for the way I drive at least so I didn't mind that the servo and the electrics uh, no issues at all with them and uh, we was running through water quite a bit uh, it was a pretty long stream that we had to drive down and a lot of deep points in it so 12 hours going through that every lap it was a uh, no issues, none at all. The motor held up just fine. Uh, again, like 12 hours. Each slap was a mile long, so 1.7 kilometers, uh, so just over a mile. But no issues with the motor at all. We didn't do any maintenance to the motor during the uh, event or anything. Only thing we did is each slap, we'd bring the truck in and just make sure all the bolts were tightened. And that was it, and it just done perfect. And yeah, you only have a two, two channel on the, the transmitter that it comes with, but for me, I use a, uh, a wireless winch anyway, so that didn't affect me. All right, so what I've done to my rig, um, I've used the crate wheels, the 1.9s. These are the sandstorms in uh, gunmetal. I also use the Hustler 4.19 um, tires in snail slime. So uh, perfect combination, I love those. And I also put the weights in these because I, I like weighted wheels in most of my scalers so this has 105 grams in each front wheel and 84 in the back so that's perfect for me I love I, I drive for boom I love boom's products um, I'm not just saying that I really do and I'll be using these crates on a lot of vehicles now because I'm addicted to them so <laughs> they just look really good and uh, their weight system that crate has is phenomenal I really enjoy that um, so Obviously, like I said, the worn winch up here, and I always put um, the remote, or the, yeah, we'll call it the remote, on a little lanyard, and I clip this to my belt loop during the, during the event, so that way I always know exactly where it is. And then when I'm done, I always clip it back here somewhere, so that way that controller and that winch are together. And I don't have to worry about using, one, or picking up a truck and forgetting the winch thing. It's always right there for the controller. I'll take it off here though, so you can see it. And that's the uh, RC four wheel drive 8274 winch. Love it, it's phenomenal. So, all right, um, oh, come on. So, bungee, this thing saved, there it goes. <laughs> this thing saved me, I don't know how many times. I actually saved other than me. It saved more, uh, more other people than me, actually. But um, pulling people back over onto their wheels and stuff when we were wheeling in Hong Kong, it was just great. And then if I got in trouble, I had this right here the whole time. And it's easy, just over to the back and onto the bumper, um, or actually onto the, uh, the hitch. So that lives there. Uh, so shell off. Obviously, this shell was painted by 51 Paint Depot. So uh, cheers, Carl. Uh, it's got a lot of a lot of notices over in, in Hong Kong and everything. So uh, well done, mate. And y'all check out 51 Paint Depot on Facebook. They do some great work. Truck's still dirty. It's a scaler. It's supposed to be in my mind. But uh, we'll start up front. So the winch we've already covered. Uh, I've got the Savix 1258 TG servo. I've put. I sealed around it with some RTV and I packed the inside of it with like axle grease. So like really thick grease in there just to keep the water out. So that's all I've done there. Steering, I've done nothing. I haven't even flipped the, the knuckles over so I get more lock. I get plenty. I don't have any issues with what I've got. Um, maybe when Charisma comes out with some new upgrades, I'm, I'll probably end up putting those on my rig because I drive for Charisma. So when their upgrades come out, they'll be going on my rig for me to test out. And uh, so then I'll put them on. But as of right now, I'm not bothered. I don't need them. I got plenty of lock. I don't need more than that. Um, the, uh, the Speedo 
or the ESC and the motor are Tekken, the Tekken FXR um, ESC, and then the Tekken 35 turn motor. Now the motor has been igified, and that's I-G-I-F-I-E-D, I'll put it right there. That's my buddy Andy Smith. Uh, a lot of the guys in the UK get him to igify their motors. He goes in, cleans them up, and then shaves them a little bit. And it's just, I don't even know what kind of magic he has, but it's, it works out really well. So that's the igified Tekken that I use in here. Uh, the winch controller I've just lobbed with a bunch of blue tack just to keep the water out from any of the open points. Uh, and then the receiver is a Futaba FHSS receiver that I use with my uh, 3PV radio. So I use a 3PV for all the scale stuff. Battery compartment still in the back. I've got no, again, if when Charisma Scale Avenger comes out with a relocation, they'll send it to me for, so I can test it out up front. I'll move the battery then, but until then, I'm not bothered. With the weighted in the wheels, I don't need the battery up front. I don't feel for my driving style, so I'm not worried about it. Now, I do have this. This is obviously on its own battery. Well, I put it on its own battery, the winch. So I've got a bit of Velcro on top of the servo, and I just put the, uh, I just put the, the battery right on top of there. And about the servo, I do have an aluminum or aluminum horn on the front. So I did upgrade that part just because I, I like to have the, the alley horns on, my, uh, on the scaler. So. But other than that, I think that's it. That's the only thing I've really updated. I still got the stock shocks. Which a lot of people say they don't, you know, they don't look completely scale for them, and that's cool, and all that. Uh, but for me, they work really well for comp, and uh, I've had great success with it in Hong Kong, so I can't fault it. Another thing I want to hit on is the shock towers. Uh, a lot of people say that a lot of people are putting braces in here, and that's cool. Um, I don't do it, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, and then they brace the back or whatever. But I don't. I don't. Again, this is only opinions, y'all. Do what you want, it's your rig, and you know what you like, you know what works for you. But for me, if you have the holes in here are already cut where these, this was a clear shell, so I cut them exactly where the factory marked them. And when you put that on, it puts the steer, it puts the shock towers out exactly where they're supposed to be. And that's just as, just as good to me as any kind of brace you'll put in there. Once those go out like that, it works fine. So I don't have an issue with it. But if you still, if you feel the need to stiffen yours up that way, go ahead. I'm sure there'll be comments below. People bashing me for not, for saying that it's the same thing. But for me, it works just fine just using the body to hold those out. Because everybody thinks that they fall in, but as soon as you get the body on, they go back to wherever you got the holes in the body. So I got no, no issues with it. Um, just, yeah, I love this rig. Obviously, uh, <laughs> I've done, drove it in Austria. Uh, in the UK Scalar Nationals, I drove it there. Then Hong Kong, I took it and actually competed and uh, won the veterans uh, small tire class. I had no issues with it over there. We had a blast and all the guys that we were wheeling with, they were really impressed with it as well. And a lot of people have a go with it. Everybody seemed to really like it. So any questions at all, please post below. Um, whatever you got to ask, <laughs> no, no worries. I'm happy to answer any of that stuff. And if not, I've got a direct line with Pete from uh, the Charisma brand manager and Ivan as well. So if it's questions that I can't answer, I will get you the answer. So please uh, don't hesitate. But thanks for stopping by. Uh, there's loads of video of this thing running uh, all over the place on my YouTube channel. So make sure you click like and subscribe there and check it out. And uh, again, questions below. Thanks guys. See you on the trip.